Hi, it's Andy again, and I have another tutorial for you today. Today I'm going to talk about a custom list adapter and how to use a custom list in your application. So this is the dual pane example from my last two, tutorial, two to three tutorials. Um, and basically I've created a custom list where the now the list color list item is in text color of white and uh, I have a background for the list and it still works exactly the same uh, where you click each item and you load up a new fragment now the way that I did this is um, you have to create your own custom list adapter and I'll be uploading the source for this as well and uh, basically you're, you're extending a new array adapter um, and you're setting the text color here to white you can set it to something else and uh, basically your each of the items is going to be its own little text view so you're inserting each item into this text view um, uh, with with this code so you're creating a new layout and everything um, then what you change in your in your fragment is instead of doing an um, a string array you're changing it to a list string so that this is what the old array adapter would be now I've done uh, I've converted that text so we no longer need this color list uh, um, class at all and uh, I'm now in order for this to work you have to change it into this list um, list string so it's it's very similar you can change this to whatever you like you can put spaces and whatever uh, there's no real limit to what you put inside the parentheses here uh, that's what I mean the same with the string array it's there really is no difference except how you're gonna put it so what you're doing is the order that you want to put it you put it in this list it's much like you were doing in the string array where you're putting it in there um, so now the other thing I you might notice is that we've taken out the the simple list adapter and I've created my own uh, layout of a list so that's this is the the text view that we're going to be replacing um, if you open up this list adapter you'll see that uh, we're finding the view by ID r.id text view and that would be this text view right here so we're using all of this but we're actually changing the we're setting the color to white and obviously you can change this to whatever you want uh, and now we're setting the text so this is actually a required step right here you could probably get away with setting the text color in here instead but uh, your list won't populate until you actually put this this line right here is, is, is the setting the text now another thing that I created was the custom list with which is that background that you see and it's you're just creating a list view you have to name it this where it's Android um, parenthesis, um, colon ID slash list um, as your ID and then the background is real easy you just set a background and you stick your image file in a drawable drawable folder and you just reference it so when you do that you have white text and a background image as your list background all right and thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I'll be uploading the source code and uploading the video. Thank you.